Hello everyone and welcome to the Fry Smiles Oral Health Network. I'm your host Scott Fry, fresh off my honeymoon, here again to smash more myths and misconceptions on the show today. Uh, this is going to be our last post about coffee for a little while, or a long while, since I don't want you to get the impression that coffee is the only thing we talk about in this show. But I'm sure that you've gathered, if you've seen any of the recent posts, that I'm a pretty big fan of the subject. Um, so now on to what we're going to be talking about today. Many of you probably out there are big latte and cappuccino fans. And some of you probably order your lattes with soy, almond, and even rice milks. Now, while these are all delicious options, the bottom line is non-animal milks do nothing to reduce stains from coffee. Now, this may come as a bit of a surprise to some of you out there, but as we went over the other week, the caseins in cow's milk, and I would say sheep's milk and goat's milk, uh, would fit into that category as well. The caseins, the caseins ugh, physically bind the staining compounds in coffee and keep them from sticking to your teeth. Now, your non-animal milks don't actually have any caseins. And some, the soy and almond milks, some of the compounds in there actually slightly increase the staining from coffee, which is a little unfortunate. Um, so if you're interested in reducing stains from coffee, next time at your, at your local coffee house and you're ordering your latte or your cappuccino, go for a cow's milk or whole cream option for that drink. Now, if you're lactose intolerant, you're going to have to go with some lactose-free cow's milk. But for our vegans out there, I'd recommend going ahead and looking into some of our other posts on coffee because you're not going to be able to go ahead and uh, have any of the animal milks. Uh, and we probably have some options in there for reducing stains that are probably more compatible with your lifestyle. Now, don't forget to go on to Facebook and show your support for the More Than Smiles movement. Okay? Without you guys, without your support, none of the stuff that we do on this show or with the movement would even be possible. So go on there, give us a like, uh, and I hope to see some new faces there with the 10 wonderful people who have already friended the More Than Smiles movement. I'll see you guys next week.